you that know, um, I had put a video up about, I guess, a week or so, week, week and a half ago, um, of wanting y'all to send me some questions, and I would answer them on a video, so, um, I think it's been about six or seven days, so it's been about a week, so I wrote the questions down last night, and, because I knew I was going to be at my great aunt's house today, and thought I would go ahead and film those, um, or answer those questions for you. So, um, thanks to the ones that sent the questions, um, I'm still taking questions, so if you want to um, know more about me, feel free to leave questions. I guess you can leave them um, down below in this, in this uh, video, and I will answer those in due time. So, uh, the first question is, and I think I got this this question twice, so I think I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, what got me into making videos? Um, well, I joined YouTube in 2007, and I think it was just mainly to put videos on of my dog and me and my boyfriend, and, and I've noticed I've deleted a lot of those videos. And I would come back and forth, never really knew how YouTube worked. And then I guess it was October, November, I started watching everybody's videos and I thought, hey, I can do that with Avon. And so I think my very first, when I very first started was probably late October, 1st of November. And it was like a Avon unboxing of one of my campaigns right before Christmas. And I enjoyed it. And um, so that's just what got me started, just doing the Avon and watching everybody doing hauls and tutorials and stuff. And I thought, hey, that's fun. I can talk to somebody. I can talk to the camera. So that's that's what got me started. Um, how long have I been selling Avon? I started selling Avon while I was living in North Carolina. Uh, I sold it, I started in late 2001. And I sold for about a year, and then I stopped. So, um, so I sold up until 2002. And I stopped, and then I think it was uh, 2000, late 2003, or maybe late 2004. I can't really remember. But anyway, it's been about, uh, I would say, eight or nine years um, because I sold, I know, for five and a half, six years, um, my boyfriend and I sold, and it was in his name, and when I moved back to South Carolina, it was still in his name, but, um, under certain circumstances, I wanted, I didn't want certain things to happen, so I put it back in my name, and so, so about seven, eight years. Um, do you like to travel? <laughs> yes, <laughs> very much so. Um, if I had more money, if I had money, I would probably go, be gone all the time. But yes, I do like to travel. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the answer to that is yes, very much so. Um, have I ever been to any other countries? No, I have not. Um, I would like to visit, uh, Scotland and Ireland, um, so, if I had to go somewhere in another country, that's, those, that's where I would like to go. Uh, what qualities do you look for in a friend? If I knew, I would probably have more friends. Um, I've been hurt so much by boyfriends and, and, uh, girlfriends uh, female friends that it's hard for me to know. Um, I really just want somebody that's loyal, someone that's there. Um, th if I need them to talk to them, you know, and I'm always there if, if they need to ask me a question or ask my advice or something, I'm always there for them. But it seems like there's no one ever there for me. So, um, yeah, someone that's loyal and honest, um, 
I won't talk behind my back. <laughs> uh, and get mad if I don't call them because, <sighs> long story, but I had one girl that got mad at me because she said I didn't call her. Uh, but I constantly texted her, so, um, so she, she cut off our friendship, so, uh, and now I just, I put a wall around me, and I've always had a wall around me because I've been hurt so much that it's hard for me to let people in, and with the past experiences in the past few months, or past few years, I really don't let anybody in, and it, you have to really break down a wall. <laughs> I guess, I mean, it's probably concrete barrier, but anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I hope that answered your question. Uh, what made, uh, you decide to get your notary license and begin to marrying people? My ex-boyfriend in North Carolina was a notary, and it is something that I had always wanted to do in South Carolina, but in South Carolina, the rule was, or, or thing was, you have to be a registered voter. And I know I put it off for years and years and years. And then when I moved to North Carolina and I was watching my ex-boyfriend do his notary work and stuff, I thought, well, pfft. South Carolina, you just have to fill out some paperwork and I can marry people. So it was something that I had always wanted to do. So I just did it and, of course, left everything in South Carolina because I guess in the back of my mind I knew eventually I would be moving back. So, that's, that's, it's just something I wanted to do. I always wanted to do. And the first time anyone called me to uh, perform their wedding, uh, they were from, actually from North Carolina, but they were getting married in South Carolina because that's a stipulation. They have to be in South Carolina. And so I made the five-hour trip <laughs> down to Charleston and did their wedding, Fourth uh, of July weekend. So, there you go. I've got one coming up in March, too. So, um, what's the worst experience you've had on YouTube so far? Honestly, I haven't had any bad experiences. I, I guess I'm lucky, but, um, you know, I see everybody else having issues with things, but I haven't had any, and I hope that I don't. So, I've been lucky so far. I haven't had any. Um, who is the one person or people on YouTube you would love to meet in real life? This might get me in trouble if I forget somebody's name. Um, probably there's a few, but, um, the very first person that I started watching on YouTube religiously back in October, I'm not talking about years past, um, would be Miss Peanut 38. Pam. Um, she's a Florida State person, and that's what caught my eye when I first saw her video. But she had on a Florida State t-shirt or baseball cap, and I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> finally. So her, and of course, Sam, <laughs> uh, the Suki Sam. Uh, I'm going to stop there because <laughs> um, there's a lot that I would really like to meet that i I watch everybody's videos, but there are certain ones that I can't wait to see their videos. But I'm not going to name them all. So those are the two. You ask for one or two people, person or people. So I'll name two. So that's people. <laughs> and we'll stop with that one. Um, tell us or show us in pictures a few Southern traditions you honor as a Southern belle. Well, being a Southern belle means that. I don't wear white before Labor Day, or before Memorial Day, or after Labor Day. And I always drink sweet tea with lemon. And, let's see, a true Southern tradition is, I always say thank you. And, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. So, those are a few of my southern traditions, and if I can find some pictures, I'll be more than happy to put them on here and attach them to this video. Do you like my accent now? Now, this is a true southern belle, Charlestonian accent. I love talking like I'm from Charleston. 
But there you go. <laughs> I will see if I can find some pictures. Um, you know, I'm just from the South. So, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I knew I had that question. What made me start making videos? I've already answered that question. Um, <laughs> this is funny. I like this one. If you lost all your clothes in one day, what is the first thing you would repurchase? <laughs> um, <laughs> a sheet. <laughs> um, the first thing I would probably purchase is a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt because I'm so casual that uh, I, I, I know I could make it if I had a pair of uh, sweatpants or crop pants that are the knit and a t-shirt. I'd be happy. So I don't even care about shoes because <laughs> I go barefoot most of the time. Um, what is your advice to someone who just had a breakup? <sighs> well, run. No. Um, I went through a breakup about three years ago, and the guy was cheating on me. And basically, I knew it in the back of my head for several years, but I just didn't want to admit it. And finally, after... I paid for our trip to Las Vegas and had a miserable time. I tried to have a good time, but I really did not have a good time with him. Um, I don't know. Uh, don't stay in a relationship if you know someone is uh, has been cheating on you or you suspect it. You know, research it. Um, I suspected it for a long time, like I said, um, and I stayed in that relationship longer than I should have. Um, and when I left and I made the decision to leave and I ran into the U-Haul, I had never driven anything that huge before. Um, it was me and a little man. I mean, I left, <laughs> practically, I left all my furniture and stuff in North Carolina with him. Um... But I got the necessities and I had everything set up, phone numbers changed and everything before I left. Did that the, like a day or the day before I left. Um, I have not had any contact with them, with him. Um, some people, they don't have a problem with having contact. If I guess if you have children to put together, you have to have that contact, but we didn't have children. Um, so I haven't had any contact with him, so... Um, my advice is just kind of take it slow. Um, it does get better. Uh, it may take years to get over when you've been with someone for, like me, eight and a half, almost nine years. Um, but don't have contact because if, if, if there's a situation that you left... Like, he's hitting you, um, talking, you know, using bad words towards you, you know, uh, harsh words, just degrading you and everything like I was being done. Um, don't stay in it. And, and, and don't have any, don't have any relationships after you leave. I mean, you made the decision to leave that was the best thing I knew to do was not have any um, contact with him uh, because I knew that he would try and get me to go back and in the beginning I probably would have but I didn't I stayed away I stayed my distance and uh, yeah just take it slow and uh, don't have any contact I mean that that's that's my advice because you don't want to get back in that bad situation so, yeah. It's, so, that's my answer. <laughs> um, so, if you have any more questions, anybody, leave them down below and I will do another video like this um, in days to come. Until next time, bye.